Hello there, viewers. I bid you all welcome. This is Ricky Klein, the Cassette Master, coming at you again with another cassette tape recorder. This is the VSC, or Variable Speech Control, Speech Controller Model VSC A7. Recording speed is your standard 1 and 7 eighths inches per second, but plays any standard cassette at 0 0.6 to 2.5 times the normal speed without pitch distortion. This particular recorder was first introduced in the year 1977 though this particular unit was manufactured in 1979. This particular unit is also made in Japan. I believe it was earlier versions of this that were American made because I saw one on eBay one time that was actually made in the USA and I couldn't believe it. But this one was given to me as a gift and it's made in Japan. Here is the instruction manual, which is, uh, looks, uh, very homemade in a sense, i.e. just the style of it is different than your typical instruction manual. Here is the cassette recorder itself in just about mint condition. Although it's used, it was used by my dear friend Dan Beard who gave it to me. And it still works on the original parts. Even the original belt is still good. Original capacitors are still good. With it, it comes with a car 12 volt adapter and an earphone, as well as a shorting dongle to short the microphone input if you just want to erase a tape. With it were also two cassettes. This is the instruction tape, and then undoubtedly one of the tapes that Dan Beard would have listened to, which is the sound of the ocean now. Most shoebox cassette recorders of this style can use AC or battery to operate. However, this machine has been designed to run on 12 volts. There's not enough room inside the machine to accommodate the amount of batteries necessary to get 12 volts. Therefore, there is no battery compartment at all on this machine, which is very unusual. You have to either run it on AC or an external 12-volt supply. Here you can see a close-up of the nameplate for this machine. I like how they get technical. The auxiliary input at 0.5 to 5-volt RMS. And the amplifier, thankfully, uh, is said in RMS, 1 watt. None of this PMPO rubbish. Then your speed recording is only 1 and 7 eighths while your playback is 1 and 1 eighths inches per second to 4 and 11 sixteenths inches per second. Pretty interesting. Am I correct in my assessment? Here is the instruction manual. VSC speech compression and expansion is achieved with special purpose integrated circuits. As you change the playback speed, this circuit automatically corrects the pitch to make the sound understandable. This unique processing results in a sound quality different from that of ordinary tape recorders, but one which is always intelligible and acceptable for most applications. I noticed a grammatical error. It says this circuit's automatically correct. I find that really funny. Not these circuits, this circuits. Here you can see some of the inside of the manual here. The centerfold. And about cleaning the heads and so forth. Now let's take a good look on these specifications. 
There's the tape speeds mentioned. The things I like to see are recording system, AC bias, erasing system, DC erasure. Not all AC bias recorders are AC erase. This machine, being DC erase, has a very strong DC erase current, apparently, because of the amount of background noise that the DC erase introduces into the recording is quite high. The frequency response is an abysmal 200 hertz to 5 kilohertz. They obviously could have done far better than this, but considering the machine was intended as a speech recorder and player, I have reason to believe they purposely did this because it was specifically intended for speech, not for music. They even state the wow and flutter, within plus and minus 1%. VSC, 185 Berry Street, San Francisco, California. On the side of the cassette recorder, you have your VSC on and off, mic and remote input, auxiliary input, and earphone output, as well as your DC 12 volt and 120 volt AC inputs. Plus, you have a headphone output as well. Interesting thing is, is unlike most cassette recorders, the auxiliary input is actually active during playback and allows you to use the VSC speech controlling pitch change function to auxiliary inputted sources. That makes this machine fun for funny effects. It also means that you can plug in an external tape recorder into this and use the speech control function. <laughs> Congratulations, you have just turned on a tape recorder. Except this tape recorder is a little bit different. You see, built into this cassette device is something called variable speech control. On your machine is a dial that will actually allow you to adjust my rate of speech to make it as fast as your ears will allow you to listen without that annoying chipmunk effect. As a professional announcer, I would normally speak at about 140 words a minute. A top 40 disc jockey might travel along at 175 words a minute. Another one of the top 40 from Bobby and the BJs to Sally and Tommy out there in Radio Land. Let me tell you how But your mind is capable of absorbing information at an even faster rate. And you're going to prove it right now. Look at the numbered dial, the VSC speed control switch. Move the dial to 1.5. Now you should be listening to me at 225 words a minute, or 50 words a minute faster than a top 40 disc jockey. This is an effective speed to briefly review why VSC happened in the first place. We'll prove it right now. Look at the numbered dial, the VSC speed control switch. Move the dial to 1.5. Now you should be listening to me at 225 words a minute, or 50 words a minute faster than a top 40 disc jockey. This is an effective speed to briefly review why VSC happened in the first place. You see, there's been an enormous cassette revolution. You can locate a cassette on virtually any subject, from nuclear physics to how to manage a service station. Cassette tapes have become vital instruments of learning, not only in schools, but for doctors, salesmen, insurance agents, accountants, and lawyers who want to know the latest information in their field. Of course, students and professionals, white-collar and blue-collar workers, have one thing very much in common. In our fast-paced society, time is very scarce. So no matter how much they want and need new information, they must organize their valuable time to get as much input as possible, as efficiently as practical. VSC can literally cut this time in half. Cambridge Research and Development Group spent years experimenting with VSC before making it commercially available. In feasibility research, Cambridge received over 6,000 letters from users of cassette players and other audiovisual equipment, indicating an enormous need for variable speed control. A graphic example of such a need came from those who work with a visually handicapped. To absorb a 100,000 word book by the Braille method would take 18 hours. With a talking book at average speed, 9 hours. With variable speech control, 4 hours or less. Obviously, even with VSC, we're not going to read your letters from every category of our society that seems to benefit from VSC. But some brief quote should give you some idea of the scope of this technical innovation. From an airline. We develop a variety of programs designed to use less of our pilot's time more efficiently. Earlier devices for changing tempo without changing pitch were cumbersome and costly, and not oriented for individual student selection of tempo. From a prominent educator, your product has profound implications as a teaching learning tool. From a technician, the potential for this device seems great in conjunction with our audio dial access system. Or how about this from an office manager? Variable speech control will be of tremendous value to our stenographic staff who have no way to speed up or slow down a client's dictation. From speech therapists, language scientists, medical editors, and kids in school, we get the same story. VSC is a time saver whose potential is as great as your ingenuity in making use of it. But hold on a minute. You should be getting used to VSC by now. In fact, you should be just about ready to absorb more information by listening at the same speed you read. Move the VSC speed control dial to two times normal speed. That's two times normal speed. 
Now you are listening as fast as most people can read. Naturally, you'll find that your ability to absorb information at faster speeds will increase with practice. But there has been plenty of research to prove the point. In a controlled study at Syracuse University, students using variable speech control tape recorders got significantly higher semester grades than students who used ordinary tape recorders. And they did it in less study time. A study by the United States Army showed that speeded speech improved performance for personnel without regard to intelligence or original reading speed. Think of it. You read a newspaper twice as fast as you listen to a newscast. Logically, if you could speed up the newscast, you could get your information twice as efficiently. The research on VSE has proven exactly that. Variable speed control helps people to acquire information and communicate with each other better, faster, and easier. After all that, you're probably wondering how VSE works. Without boring you with technical details, VSE is accomplished by tiny, special-purpose integrated circuits, which licensed manufacturers can build into all forms of sound reproducing equipment, including tape recorders, phonographs, dictating machines, and audiovisual machines. As you undoubtedly know, people have been effectively trying to speed up speech for years. VSC has achieved it for the first time without distortion, in a way that is cost-efficient enough to allow for mass production. Actually, you can slow down the VSC machine below normal speed and get the same beneficial effects for certain activities. For instance, we got a delightful letter from a student who was attempting to learn Japanese conversation, who found that by playing VSC at a particularly slow speed, she was literally able to break up a syllable. Speech therapists and secretaries also appreciate the slowdown capacity of VSC. But what about you? After a paragraph at normal speed, your senses are probably beginning to yearn for the stimulating speeded up activity of VSC. So, for the last part of our demonstration, we want you to imagine you're a student who would like to review a lecture, or pretend you're someone in market research who'd like to scan a wealth of material. Rewind this cassette to the beginning, and simply set the VSC dial at 2.5. That's two and a half times normal speech and a very good speed for review. When you're done, it will mark the end of the presentation and the beginning of a profitable relationship between you and a new revolution in sound. As you may have noticed, when the VSC switch is turned off, you can still adjust the speed of the playback. Pretty nice machine, isn't it? Recording is all done with automatic level control. During record mode, the meter will move to show recording level. This is a recording made on the VSC A7 cassette tape recorder using the built-in microphone. This machine features electrical pause as well as Q and view. Let us pause the machine. Recording is now being performed with the external mic. During record mode, the meter will move to show recording level. The only fault I found with this machine is the fact that the recording speed and the playback speed when the playback setting is to 1.0 is slightly off. Now, let's try the VSC function on the recordings that I just made. This is a recording made on the VSC A7 cassette tape recorder using the built-in microphone. This machine features electrical pods as well as QED. Let us pause the machine. Recording is now being performed with the external mic. During record mode, the meter will move to show recording level. External mic. During record mode, the meter will move to show recording level. The only fault I found with this machine is the fact that the recording speed and the playback speed when the playback setting is to 1.0 is slightly off. Now we'll show something quite fun. Use of an external tape recorder using the VSC function on this machine. When you want to use a recorder as an external speech controller, just do the electrical pause and then turn the machine on by pressing play. Notice. I have an old Ampex speaker plugged into the output of the recorder as it can also do an external speaker. We're going to show external tape recorder use. First, direct playback without the VSC turned on results in pretty good sound quality. This is a tape recording made on a two-speed tape recorder at half of the standard cassette speed. Now, what if we played it at the regular speed? This is a tape recording made on a two-speed tape recorder at half of the standard cassette speed. Well, 
Let's turn on the VSC. And set it to two. This is a tape recording made on a two-speed tape recorder at half of the standard cassette speed. That is, this is being recorded at 15 16 inches per second, as opposed to the conventional 1 and 7 eighths. This cassette recorder has a pitch control function which merely varies the speed of the motor slightly. Using the pitch control of this recorder, and also playing this recording at twice its recorded speed, we can utilize the VSC, or variable speed control function, of... Maybe. Okay, let's use the pitch control then. Back to 15 16 the very speed it was recorded. At 15 16 we're going to make the pitch, we're going to turn the motor speed down as low as it will go by turning the pitch control down slightly. Inches per second, as opposed to the conventional 1 and 7 eighths. This cassette recorder has a or pitch control function, which merely varies the speed of the motor slightly. Using the pitch control of this recorder, and also playing this recording at twice its recorded speed, we can utilize the VSC, or variable speech control function, of the VSC machine. Now, the fun begins. The big scary monster. To show operation, what we also can do is play this cassette at the regular speed it was recorded at and be humored by making the voice sound like a monster using the VSC system. Pretty funny, eh? Now here's an interesting thing. Side-by-side -side comparison. That is, this is being recorded at 15 sixteenths inches per second, as opposed to the conventional 1 and 7 eighths. This is a tape recording made on a two-speed tape recorder at half of the standard cassette speed. That is, this is being recorded at 15 sixteenths inches per second, as opposed to the conventional 1 and 7 eighths. I'll be showing a couple still photos on the video that I took of the inside of the machine because the circuit board is quite astonishing to see because it's so unusual for a shoebox cassette recorder. There are many chips on this machine, three of them being bucket brigade devices. And also notice all the chips are socketed. There's also some special VSC chips that are completely proprietary. So much so that I cannot find any data sheets or information on those chips at all. VSC wanted to keep those things top secret. Well, viewers, I will see you later in more Mundane Monday presentations. This has been a Cassette Master production.